In this video, I will talk about how to solve the traveling salesman problem using the Hungarian method. The Hungarian method involves two steps. Each step involves some sub-steps. Step 1, in the cost or distance matrix, find the minimum cost in each row. Subtract each cost by the minimum cost in its row. In the new matrix, find the minimum cost in each column. Subtract each cost by the minimum cost in its column. Step 2. Calculate the penalties of all zeros by adding the minimum value other than itself in the same row and the minimum value other than itself in the same column. Pick the zero with the largest penalty. Include arc from the row to the column in the tour. Cross out the corresponding row and column to formulate the remaining matrix. Stop if there is no row or column left. Otherwise, go back to step 1. Let's check an example with 5 cities, A, B, C, D, and E. We want to find the best sequence so that the total distance traveled will be minimized. Here is the distance matrix. For the first row, the minimum value is 58. For the second row, the minimum value is 79 and so on. We subtract the minimum value for each row, and this is what we get. Now we find the minimum value for each column. The minimum value in the first column is 0, it is 21 in the second column, and so on. We subtract the minimum value for each column, and this is what we get. For this 0, the minimum value other than itself in this row is 53, and the minimum value other than itself in this column is 0. We add them together, so the penalty is 53. Now let's do this for all other zeros. The largest penalty is associated with this 0 and this 0. Because they are the same, we can randomly pick one. I just pick this one. So we need to include an arc from C to D in the tour. Then cross out this row and this column. Because we just travel from C to D, the reverse arc D to C will not be allowed for further consideration. So we remove this element in the matrix. This is the remaining matrix. We still have some rows and some columns left. So go back to step 1 and repeat the process. Find the minimum value for each row. There are 0, 0, 51, and 0. Subtract the minimum value from each row. This is what we have now. Find the minimum value for each column. There are 0, 0, 159, and 0. Subtract the minimum value from each column. This is what we get. For this 0, the minimum value other than itself in this row is 0 and the minimum value other than itself in this column is 52. We add them together, so the penalty is 52. Now let's do this for all other zeros. The largest penalty is associated with this zero and this zero. Because they are the same, we can randomly pick one. I just pick this one. So we need to include an arc from A to C in the tour. Then cross out this row and this column. Because we just travel from A to C, the reverse arc, C to A, will not be allowed for further consideration. This is the remaining matrix. Go back to step 1 and repeat the process. Find the minimum value for each row. There are all zeros. Find the minimum value for each column. There are all zeros. For this zero, the minimum value other than itself in this row is 53 and the minimum value other than itself in this column is 32. We add them together, so the penalty is 85. Now let's do this for all other zeros. The largest penalty is associated with this zero, so we need to include an arc from B to E in the tool. Then cross out this row and this column. Because we just travel from B to E, the reverse arc, E to B, will not be allowed for further consideration. This is the remaining matrix. 
Go back to step 1 and repeat the process. Find the minimum value for each row. They are both zeros. Find the minimum value for each column. They are 0 and 16. Subtract the 16 from this column. This is what we get. We find that the penalties for all the zeros are just a zero. For the last city E, we need to include an arc from E to A in the tour. Then cross out this row and this column. Because we just travel from E to A, the reverse arc A to E will not be allowed for further consideration. This is the remaining matrix. We only have one row and one column left. So we just include an arc from D to B in the tour. Then cross out this row and this column. Let's now assemble the arcs together and the optimal solution is A, C, D, B, E, A. The total distance of this tour is 668. Because this is the symmetric traveling salesman problem, another optimal solution is just going in the reverse order A, E, B, D, C, A. The total distance is still 668. Okay, that is how to solve the traveling salesman problem using the Hungarian method. Thanks for watching.